Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, this is another in our series of Elementor for Beginners videos. Today we're going to be looking at a little flip card here. Great little thing to have on your site, interactive element for your visitors, and you can put a lot of info in a small bit of real estate because you've got two sides. I've got one here with a bit of info on the front and some more on the back and a little call to action button. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today, so let's get started. I've got this page open with my Elementor Builder. If not, hit your Edit with Elementor button here. Okay, let's go up to the matrix. If we roll down, we're going to find a flip box down here. Just left click on it, drag it to where you want to put it. I've got a section here, it's got two columns in it. I've just put one in this second column here. As you can see, by default, it's already given you a flip. And that's great, but you can make it do other animations as well. And I'll take you through those. So when you first look at it, you're on the content tab here and you've got one for the front and one for the back. Now you can change it from an icon if you want. You can have an image or you can have none at all. I'm happy with the icon there. To select a new icon, you can either upload an SVG of your own or head to the icon like library. I'm going to go ahead and search for a question. And that'll work for me. As you can see, it's popped in a question mark there. And you can change the way it looks. You can have the default, which is a regular icon right there. You can have it stacked, which will give it a bit of a background color on there. You can put different shapes around it if you want to. Or you can have it framed, where it's got a little board around there. And again, you can change from circle to square if you want to. I'm happy with the default. Of course, put your heading in here. And put whatever text you want down below. If you want to change the background out, it's got that default green on there at the moment. You can choose a background type. You can have a classic or a gradient. I'm going to go for a classic. Let's pop a little image in the background. We'll have it cover. So you can see the whole image there. Fantastic. Now, if your, if your writing gets lost in there, I've got to stop hovering over it. If your writing gets lost in there, you can add a little background overlay right here. Just click on it. You can add whatever color you want. I'm actually going to add a black to mine, but it will work with any color. And that's pretty much negated that image. But if we go down to this bottom slider here, the opacity, we can drag it down so we can see that image through there. Drag it down as far as you want so that you can clearly read your text. I think that's going to work for me. Fantastic. Okay, if we roll down, we can do exactly the same for the back of this flip box. There's the back. Put in your title. Put in whatever text you want it to say. And there's a button on there. Say learn more. Whatever you want your button to say. And obviously put your link where you want to take people down below here. And always best practice if you're linking to your own site just leave it as it is. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. That way, your site's going to stay open. And again, we can make that background a little bit more interesting. We'll do exactly the same thing. Let's throw an image in there. And I'm going to make it cover again. So it covers the whole thing. And we'll put a little overlay so we can read that writing a little bit better. Again, I'm going to use a back. Well, let's use, use a different color. Let's perhaps use a dark blue this time. And again, I'm going to drag the opacity down so we can see as much as that image as we want, but we can read that writing nicely. Great. Now, if we roll on down, we've got settings. And here you can choose what you actually want it to do. You can choose how large your heading is. H3 works for me. 
You could also change your description if you want to. Paragraphs, text, a span, H654, etc. Again, unhappy with the way it was. If you want to, you can change the height of this thing. If you've got more text than that, you might find it spilling out. You'll make it bigger or smaller. If you don't like what you've done, select it, delete it. It'll go back to how it was. Again, I'm happy with the way it was. If you want rounded corners on there, just put a value in there. And you've got rounded corners on it now. Again, I think I like the square corners on this one, so I'm going to delete that. Now, here's an interesting one, the flip effect itself. You can have it flip. Well, before we show you a different one, flip direction. At the moment, I've got it flipping top to bottom there. You can have it flip left to right or other way around. Or you can have it flip from the bottom up. I'm going to leave that one how it is. We've actually got 3D depth as well. Now, if I turn this on, you'll see when it flips, it's got a bit of a 3D aspect to it. The text and the actual background there are moving at a slightly different rate. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to leave that one off. But we can also choose to slide it in. You can see it slides up from the bottom. And again, you can choose where it slides in from. Got it for the right. Got it from the left. Now we can have it top down. You can push it in. That'll push one content down. As you can see, it's pushing that content down. And again, you can change direction on all of these. You can have it zoom in. Where it's just appearing from the middle there, fading in. Zoom out. It'll have the one that we're looking at initially zoom out into the next one. And these are great effects. People are mousing around your site. This sort of thing happens. It's really going to get their attention quickly. And there's also a fade where it'll just fade from one to the other. And again, like I say, people mousing around your site. That's going to get their eyeballs on something very quickly, which is exactly what you want. I'm going to leave mine on flip for this today. Great. Well, let's pop over to our style now. And you've got different styling for the front and back obviously padding i'm happy with the way it is you can obviously add more padding to the top or the bottom if you want to you can align your content left center right you can have it aligned at the top of your module middle of your module bottom of your module if you want to not much going on there because we're filling most of the module but if you had a small amount of text that would work really well you can put a border on there if you want to. I'm not going to put a border, but you've got all the usual ones of a solid, double, dotted, dashed, or grooved there. We've got options to change the icon, the spacing, the color, the icon size itself. All of these I'm going to leave pretty much as they are. But just to demonstrate, if I pull that spacing up, it's going to make more space between the icon and the text. And again, if you don't like what you've done, delete it. You can make it any color that you want. Yeah, let's make it a crazy pink color or something that's going to stand out on that background. That's fine. And of course, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can slide up, slide down, or you can type in a value. If you don't like what you've done, again, just delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. If you want to rotate it, you can twist it around whichever way you want. I'm happy for it to be right size up. Now the title, again, you've got all these options. You've got spacing where you can push it down further from the writing below. Text color, obviously, I'm going to leave all of this just as it is. Let's just copy this color. I'm copying that code there. And we're in the title at the moment. So let's go to title text color. I'm going to paste that code in there. And you've got the same color. You can choose any font you want down here. If I roll down a little bit, you can make it skinny or bold. You can transform it to uppercase, lowercase, whatever you want to do with your line height. Again, that's going to push the icon up and the writing below it down because it's giving it more space up and below. 
letter spacing and word spacing are obviously spaced between the letters and the words. And you can do exact, exactly the same for the description. Once you're happy with the front, you can move on to the back. And you'll notice when I select the back, it pops to the back for you. I won't go through all that again because it's exactly the same. We're pretty much good to go. Over in advanced, you've got things like margin and padding. I don't really want to do anything about that. The width of it, position of it, Z index, CSS IDs, motion effects and things like that. I'm going to leave that all on the default. I'm happy with the way that card's displaying there. So let's save this and make sure it's all going to work on the front end. I'm going to go down and hit the little chevron. Save draft or hit the publish button if you're ready. And if we update, hit the little eyeball to preview changes. Here's our first little card there. And here's our second little card. And like I say, if people are mousing around your site, this sort of thing happens. It's going to get their attention really quickly. And I really like that. I do enjoy flip cards. You see them on a lot of sites nowadays. Because they do grab people's attention. So there you go, guys. That's another one in our series of Elementor for Beginners. You can find the playlist down below. You can also try Elementor page builder from my link down below if you haven't got it it comes in a free version and also a pro version this flip card is actually part of the pro version so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.